So how do you sketch a parapet wall roof? And for those of you that don't know what a parapet wall is, that's a parapet wall right there. It's a flat roof with about a little short two-foot wall around the edge, like some of the 7-Elevens or commercial, small commercial buildings you see. So how do you draw that? Because there is no roof in Xactimate that's flat that has walls around it. Well, that's easy. All you do is you put a flat roof inside of a room and then shorten the walls. So let's do that really quick. First, I want to put a room down. And let's say that that store, whatever it is, is, uh, let's say it's uh, 30 by 25. There we go. And typically the walls are 8 inches thick, so we're going to change the wall thickness to 8 inches. And then we're going to lower our ceiling height to, let's say, 2 feet. And we may as well change the name to roof walls for lack of knowing what else to call it. So now when I go into 3D, there's my roof walls, and now I just have to do a, put a flat roof inside of it. So since the flat roof is going to be essentially almost the same size as this, I'm going to have one label on top of the other. So before I put it down and then have it a major pain to separate the labels, I want to move this one over right now. I'm going to click on the roof name. Hopefully you remember how to do this. Hover your mouse over the handle. Hit the space bar. When it turns green, you can now grab the handle and move it over. So now I got my roof there, my roof walls. And now I'm going to put a flat roof. Remember the shortcut was F. And I'm going to put it down because once you put one inside the other, it, sometimes you're clicking and it's hard to click on the right one. So we're going to open up our properties here. And first thing is we're going to get rid of our overhangs. We don't need no stinking overhangs. So now we got rid of our overhangs. And let's just rename it flat roof. And it looks like we had a gable. Make it flat. Let's change our slope to zero. And now we got a flat roof. And remember, this is the low point. It's pointing up even though we made it a zero slope. Yep, we did. So now we're just going to take it, put it inside. I'll put it in that corner right down there. And I want to make it same as the inside dimension. There. And there. And now when I go into 3D, there's my parapet, my parapet wall. Now here's a little brain teaser. I want to put a couple of openings right here. This is my low point. I want to put a couple of openings to lift the drainage out. So I hit the missing wall tool, and I try to put in a little missing wall there, and it does not let me. How come? I'm going to try it again. Click, hold, and drag. No missing wall. The reason is because, remember, a missing wall defaults to a height of 6 foot 8. Well, I lowered the wall here to 2 foot high. I made my ceiling height 2 foot high. So I can't put a 6 foot 8 opening into a 2 foot, two foot high wall. So to do that, I would have to open up that room again, go back to 8 feet, put in my missing wall. Let's make it 2 feet. Lower the size down to 2 feet. I'm going to copy and paste it and put another one over here. And now I go back and lower my ceiling height back down to 2. There it is right there. And now, there we go. Just remember your defaults. That's how you do a parapet, a parapet roof. Hopefully this helped, and we will see you at the next video. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. I think it's down here somewhere. Or even better, subscribe so that you get to see any of the future videos that I post on here. Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.